సెక్షన్ ఫోర్ ట్రిగరింగ్ రాజ్బెరీపై విత్ ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ క్లౌడ్ అండ్ ఈఎస్పీ థర్టీ టూ ఇన్ దిస్ సెక్షన్ వీ విల్ లర్న్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ టు ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ ల్యామ్డా సెండింగ్ మెసేజెస్ టు ఎస్క్యూఎస్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ రాజ్బెరీపై టెస్ట్ ట్రిగరింగ్ వీడియో ఫోర్ పాయింట్ వన్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ టు ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ ల్యామ్డా ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ విల్ లర్న్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ ల్యామ్డా వై ఆర్ వీ యూజింగ్ ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ ల్యామ్డా creating a lambda function creating an iot rule what is aws lambda lambda is a compute service provided by amazon web services it is basically an event driven serverless computing platform that runs your code in response to events and automatically manages the computing resources required by the code lambda runs your code on high availability compute infrastructure Using AWS Lambda you can also create your own backend services or serverless applications Lambda automatically runs your code in response to single or multiple events In AWS Lambda your code is executed only when needed it is capable of executing a few requests per day to thousands per second and you'll just need to pay for the compute time you consume and there will be no charge when your code is not running To utilize this wonderful service you will just provide code to AWS Lambda in one of the languages that Lambda supports this will be your only responsibility all the other operational and administrative activities are performed by AWS Lambda on your behalf but why are we using AWS Lambda in our project we need to trigger an event only in a particular condition okay to be more clear we will send the sensor data to the iot core in iot core we will write a rule which will send the entire data to aws lambda in aws lambda we will write a python code that will check this sensor data if it finds the temperature value to be more than 25 degrees then it will send an on message to sqs and when it finds the temperature value is less than 25 degrees then it will send an off message to sqs So this code that you will run on AWS Lambda is called lambda function. We will first create a lambda function in this video and then write a python code that checks the temperature values in the next video. Creating a lambda function. Log in to your AWS account. In management console search for lambda. Select it. Now you will be directed to the AWS Lambda home page like this. check the region it's north virginia only here on the right hand side you can find create function select it in this course we will write our own python code so select author from scratch then give a name for your function i will give my esp32 underscore function next selecting the run time here you can find python 2.7 select it Now don't forget to check the permissions select choose or create an execution rule here you can find three options check if create a new role with basic lambda permissions is selected this will automatically create a new role and will add all the basic policies required to that role and then create function yes my sp32 underscore function has been successfully created Here on the left hand side we can add various triggers manually like this. Okay, let's come back. In this video we will add the trigger automatically. Now, are you excited to do this? So come, let's create an IoT rule first. On the top, select services. Now find IoT core. Right click and then open link in the new tab. Here on the left hand side in the navigation pane choose act. Here select create a rule. Now giving a name to the rule. My SP32 underscore lambda underscore rule. Description. This rule will send the sensor data to AWS lambda. Rule query statement. Ensure that you are using the latest version of SQL. Here we will give select attribute is star from the topic filter will be my sp32 slash make a dummy data and here we will not give any conditions 
Don't forget to add single quotes for the topic filter. We will send the entire sensor data to Lambda. In AWS Lambda, we will check the data based on temperature values. Next, set actions. Select add action. Here, select send a message to Lambda function. And then, configure action. Now, selecting the Lambda function that we created previously. And then, add action. The action has been successfully added. The IoT rule is ready. Now, verify and select create rule. The rule has been created successfully. Open Lambda. Now, refresh the page and here you can see that the trigger has been automatically added. For now, I will end this video here. In this video, we learned the following. What is AWS Lambda? Why are we using AWS Lambda? Creating a Lambda function. Creating an IoT rule. In the next video, we will send messages to SQS. See you in the next video.